Hello and welcome to this introduction to this new Jung product, Power Supply with Interface. My name is Thomas Rotenhäusler and I'm a technical sales manager for Jung for many years and I would like to introduce you now this very interesting product here. Well, nowadays you find more and more a trend that there are more compact devices, more universal or multifunctional devices are used or required. With that device here, we can offer you exactly that, all in one. What does it mean, all in one? All in one means we can offer you a power supply for 320 milliamps, a integrated interface, IP interface, as well as a very interesting smart logic for a hotel application. All in all, the whole package, of course, is normally uh, clear today, everything works uh, with the new standard KNX Secure. So that means we can really support the latest communication within the KNX world. Okay, one key, let's say a key use case, might be a hotel. Yes. And to introduce you this use case for a hotel, I think it makes sense to show you a short trailer. And that trailer gives you some more information and more impression about this application. Okay, so far for this little short trailer. Now I think it's time to show you some more details and for that I will go now to the ETS and into the online catalog first. As usual, I'm always going via the catalog and via the KNX topic to the corresponding devices for rail mounting. Because there we normally should find system components and uh, power supply with IP interface belongs to a system component. Here we are, power supply with IP interface. So to keep it simple, I would say I'll give you an overview here on this page. Uh, you see, it's a quite small device, just with six units, and it includes a 320 milliamp power supply with an interface for IP. And in addition, uh, you also find a certain logic, but uh, this logic is quite smart and interesting. I will go to that later on. Let's have a look on the hardware first. We have LEDs on the device for various statuses like overload, condition for instance, and uh, those things you can see on those status LEDs. On the right you find a push button to get a reset, means you can reset the whole entire bus line with this button, which makes sense, much more sense instead of uh, taking off the bus cable. That is so far for the uh, hardware outside. The bus terminal you find down there. Okay, good. So by the way, we can this, uh, we can send this uh, reset also via a communication object to the bus. That means you can really also visualize this reset uh, on, a, on a visualization, which makes sense sometimes. Uh, of course, 
general features like a short circuit proof or overload or over voltage proof as well as a no load uh, protection you find on board here as well but those are general features very important of course here because it's a new item you find that data secure compatibility as well as ip secure compatibility it means the new communication by knx is supported by this device and because we are talking about a power supply with ip it supports both data secure as well as ip secure in addition we offer you eight connections means eight tunnels here in that device more than enough this is important let's say if you want to have a simultaneous visualization and configuration or maintenance yeah, at the same time in addition yeah we found also uh, electrical isolation between knx and ip network and now coming back to the special logic a presence control with key card holder or presence detector means that we are offering here a specific application for a hotel installation in a hotel guest room you find either the possibility using a key card on the wall where the guest can uh, stick in the, the card or in another solution you can also work with a presence detector detecting the guest when he is entering the guest room in both cases you can generate here various commands yeah and uh, means you can send a telegram to the housekeeping when the guest enters the guest room or you can also send a telegram to the reception area that they know now the guest is in his room so there are quite clever applications here behind the info button on the device you find further additional information like operation instructions, a complete product documentation, as well as, of course, a database for ETS, but also a use case documentation. This is something I would like to show you now. I opened it already here with the uh, PDF. And uh, beside some interesting use cases here, you find an interesting table as well. I'll just skip through this to the table. And this table gives you an overview about the various IP devices for Jung. That means it shows you clearly the different features of the devices, so it helps to select the right product for the right use case. Because sometimes it's a bit confusing with all these technical information. A bit further down, I have opened the PDF again you find a specific use case for a smart hotel. Here the PDF describes clearly how to use the device to fulfill the requirements of a smart hotel where especially the logic part is pointed out. So there are quite some interesting applications for this device. Yeah, Coming back to the ETS, I have opened already the Jung product catalog and selected the IPS devices and you see that we will find three application for the device. Maybe you're wondering why three applications. The first application is for the IP interface only. The other two for the additional functions such as the logic functions as mentioned, for the additional object, for the reset function. In addition you find secure and unsecure database files, as usual, with the new devices from Jung. The shield indicates the secure version, the one without, means unsecure. That means when we talk about secure devices, Jung always is offering two versions of database. One unsecure, or so-called plain database, and a secure one just depending on the requirement of the project which the integrator has to realize. 
In other words, when the integrator doesn't need the secure communication, he will go for the unsecure one. From the functional point of view, their applications are the same. It is just about the secure issue. The last application is including, beside the IP secure, the data secure protocol as well. That means it is needed for a secure transmission on the twisted pair side of the bus system. On the other side, the first one without the additional functions is supporting IP secure only, since there is only the interface functionality in the focus. As you can see, I have already imported the device in the project. That means I can close the catalog already. When we open the device, you can see the eight available tunnels, the parameters on the bottom are showing the new layout of the ETS, which is much more organized than it was in the past. The embedded graphics help in addition to find a way through the parameters. So beside that, you have further on device information, where you have some information about the LEDs, for instance. You have some settings for the IP. Okay, well, in that case, we have only the uh, setting for DHCP or fixed IP address, very simple. We have some advanced settings. We have the tunnels again. Well, this is something very straightforward and nothing spectacular and very simple, which is good. And always you find some additional information text to describe and to inform you what you are doing, because sometimes the parameters are not so clear. And since that was the IP interface without the additional functions, we don't have any objects or parameters more. So the second one now, here we have the additional functions and of course objects and some more parameters. Device information is the same. General, we have here this manual reset and there is the object for the reset wire communication object, which I have mentioned. And now we come to the logic functions where we can use presence monitoring and so on. Yeah, There is now the distinction between the presence monitoring with key card holder or with presence detector and always the description in the blue field how it works. And even you can see a graphic to describe you the flowchart of how it works because this is sometimes very important that you know in a logic what's going on. Here, for instance, you can already release a scene before you uh, put the key card in the switch, uh, when you have a presence detection. Then you can have a reaction after you release the key card. So all those things can be adjusted step by step with those parameters. The scenes are fixed within this section here, welcome goodbye scene. So it means we have two scenes and you can activate various lighting channels. And of course, here you have some more objects yeah, for the reset, for instance, of the bus voltage, yeah, as uh, already mentioned. Then we have <coughs> various objects for the logic input, for the presence monitoring, for the key card holder as well as for the various scenes. So that means all those objects are linked to the uh, devices. Okay, once again, I would like to come back to this uh, very interesting use case, a smart hotel. Why? Because the product is really perfectly designed for that use case. First of all, you can create single so-called KNX islands, means every guest room has its own little KNX system, which is very safe. Yeah? And in combination with the Jung visualization uh, JVP in the hotel edition, you can even build up a smarter hotel, an entire smart hotel, including the property management. So altogether, it's a perfect package for hotels. Well, last but not least, that device as well gets 
soon an upgrade means you can even use it with the IPS remote for maintenance work. So then the package contains really everything. So that's it for today. I hope it was interesting for you, this new product. And finally, I just want to wish you all the best and stay safe. Goodbye.